Hello everyone, today in this video we will be discussing about the fixed program which is uh, Sarpinski Get Kit and let me show you the output of how it looks and uh, let's see the, um, work, the working behind it, how to get that. So firstly I will be showing you the least case which is the number of divisions as 0. If you enter the number of divisions as 0 what happens is we will get a triangle here with um, 3 divisions right, 1, 2 and 3, 3 faces are there. Now if I uh, type it as 1 at that time what happens is this triangle will get divided into another three parts okay like this it, it will get divided into three parts like this and here also and here also so let's see how that output looks and try to understand how it's working okay so if i output uh, i mean give the input how is the number of divisions as one at uh, that time i'll get the output as this one okay so the whole triangle was divided into the different parts so this triangle is further divided into three small black triangles and here we have a space and the red one is also divided and the blue one is also divided and the remaining ones are uh, seen here okay the remaining triangles and the white spaces so in the same way if we keep on doing recursively the division each triangle will be getting divided and the final output like uh, the normal case is the number of divisions as 3 and uh, this is how the output looks like this is how the output looks like if we divide the uh, whole thing 3 3 3 times again okay. So let's see how, what is the inner working of it. So, so this is the whole code. If I show you how many functions we are using, and uh, that is the triangle, then the diff triangle and uh, tetra display reshape and main function. So let's start from the main function. In the main function, we are taking how many number of divisions we want. That's stored in n. And this is the initialization function. And the two functions which we are mainly calling is the my reshape function and display function. So let's see what is in the my reshape function first. Okay. So in my reshape function we have the w and h which is the width and the height and uh, this is the formula which you need to memorize okay this is how you display the triangle for the triangle you need to use this formula okay so that's for the reshape uh, function then we have the display function let's see what's in the display function basically the display function just loads the identity sets the color buffer bit and the depth, of, uh, depth buffer bit and it calls the tetra function and n is getting passed n is nothing but the number of divisions okay so tetra is uh, getting called uh, with the parameter n which is the number of divisions that is getting stored in m so when we call this function we have the four uh, parameters here 1 2 3 and 4 so four times we are uh, dividing it the four faces of the tetra uh, hedral, which is nothing but the uh, four, uh, 3d uh, gasket we are actually seeing the triangle but it's actually the uh, 4d um, i mean 3d okay let, uh, let me show you how it is 3d that's because if i uh, enter here as zero it's actually not the triangle but we are going for the tetra hedron, okay so this is one, this is another one, this is another one and the bottom one, okay. Imagine this as a pyramid. Okay, in the pyramid what happens is one face, second face, third face and uh, below it is another face, right. So that is getting divided into different parts, okay. It's not the triangle but the tetrahedron which is getting divided. Because the question which they have asked is for the tetrahedron, right. So that's what's happening here and we are passing some parameters. I will be explaining you what these parameters mean. For that, for the four faces, we are uh, calling the function diff try four times. This for the first face, the second face, third face, and the fourth face. Okay. And uh, what are these parameters? Let me explain you. Now we have in the v what we have is v of 0 as this one, v of 1 as this one, v of 2, v of 3. Now what are these? Is nothing but the vertices, vertices of the first um, point, the second point, the third point, and the fourth point. That is minus 1, minus 1, minus 1 for this one, for this one it is 0, 0, 1, and so on that is getting specified uh, okay so that is getting called here and uh, m is getting passed what is m how many number of divisions you have to make for each phase now uh, what is getting called is diff try let's see what is diff try before that triangle is also called after uh, uh, means um, in this function whenever we want to display a triangle we will be calling triangle abc okay so when we uh, get to the least point where m is zero at that time we will be uh, using the uh, triangle to display since you have reached the endpoint, you will display a triangle by using the GL begin and passing three points A, B, and C. So let's see what is A, B, and C we need to know. So this function I will be explaining you by the theory um, document. So here what we have is uh, diff try. Okay. Now see here we have one triangle. To display our uh, another triangle dividing it, what we will do is we will find out the midpoint of this and we will mark this point. We will find the midpoint of this, mark this point. We will find the midpoint and mark this point. How many times we did? We did three times, right? So for each we will be doing three times, three times, three times and three times. That is for V1, V2 and V3. This is for V1, V2, V3. Three times we will be dividing for each phase. Okay. So 
so when that is done how we are doing is this is a this is b we are doing a of j plus b of j divided by 2 a plus b divided by 2 will get this point then a plus c by 2 then c plus b by 2 will get the midpoints of this like that we are doing how many times three times for each of these three phases after that is done we have to do for the remaining the smaller one right for this one also we have to do it in the same way so what we are doing m minus 1 because once it is done this just two times are left so two times will be dividing this one this one and this one by calling the diff fry three times and this will continue uh, recursively okay because again diff fry if you call this will again come here and do the same things again means it will get divided until uh, how many iterations we are uh, specifying that many times it will be divided after it reaches zero we will be displaying a triangle and after means all these recursively it gets over it gets uh, build up the triangle from the smaller triangles to the uh, bigger triangle okay that's what is happening in this code and um, yeah this is all what i'm passing different spaces i'm passing this i already told you that's all basically what is there in this code and um, you know output will be as follows the two should be divided in this uh, fashion and uh, yeah that's all for this video and thank you so much for watching i'll see you next